Hello my pre-calculus student. In this video, we are going to write an equation for each given graph. So let's start with the first graph here. First of all, we are going to find um, the y maximum and the y minimum of the graph. So from, from the graph, we can see that the y maximum is positive 1 and the y minimum is negative 1. So it will help us to find the amplitude of the graph. For the graph, so the, the amplitude is 1 half of the absolute value of y max minus y min. So this will be equal one half of the absolute value of one minus negative one because our y mean is negative one. So it'll be one half of two. The absolute value of two is just two, so one half times two, two half. So therefore the f the amplitude is one. Um Next step, we want to find the, peri the periods of the graph. Now, to find the periods of the graph, we look at the pattern of the graph. So we have the pattern of the graph. It just so the pattern of the graph have have five points: y equals zero, y equals one, y equals zero, y equals negative one, and y equals zero. And it just repeats itself again: y equals see, y equals zero, y equals one y equals zero, y equals negative one, and y equals zero. So from from the pa from the pattern of the graph, we're able to find the periods of the graph. So this will be the periods. So in this case, the peri the periods of the graph will be pi. So since we know the periods of the graph, we're using the formula, the periods. Now, since we look at here, this is the graph of, um, we can use the sine function um, because the reason we use the sine function, of course, you can use cosine, but but for the sine function, we know that uh, the y-intercept will be z zero. So I'm going to go ahead and, in this case, we will use the sine function. So we do y equal a side of B X. Now the graph that the graph is just the um it doesn't have any pay any pay shift. It means that the graph um it doesn't shift to the left or to or the or to the right and it doesn't have vo vertical shift. So just y go A side B X. So what we're doing right here that we try to find A and B. So first from the F from the amplitude is one and the pa the pattern of the phi y va value will be, will be um, very similar with the pattern of our parent function. So so far we know that a is one. Okay, so so next we need to find the periods. Um, so we know that the period is pi, but the formula is two pi divided by absolute va value of b. Now, now, right here, the b will be positive, so just 2 pi divided by b. And we substitute the period for pi, so pi equal 2 pi divided by b. And we need, we need to solve for b. So, to solve for b, we have to multiply both sides by pi, so be b times pi equal to pi and we divide pi both sides so therefore b equal two so now we found a equal one b equal two so therefore we can conclude that the equation for the given graph b y equal one Side of two x. Now, um, if 
the value for a or b is one. You don't have to write it down, but I'm just writing it because by default, if you don't write nothing, we know that it's one. Now let's move on to second example. So let's look at this example. So here, given this graph, and we want you to write to find the equation for this graph. Now this graph. We don't even see one complete pattern of the graph, so we we only see half of the graph. So we can make a note right here that half of the period. So half of the half of the period is two pi. So therefore, we can conclude that. Then the periods is double should be four pi. So now we have one period of the graph. Next we can see that this graph does have I mean from this part of the graph we see the y minimum is negative five. Then we can conclude it because um, the graph has to be oscillate between the y minimum and the y maximum. Then the y maximum value is positive five, and we can um, now again um, look at this graph right here. So far, I can see there are three points: y equals zero, y equals neg negative five, y equals zero. So the next loop will be. The other half of the graph is y equal five and y equal zero. So since there are three x in this step, I'm go ahead and conclude that I'm going to write the equation and using the sine function. So y equal um, a times sine of b x. There's no page shift and there's no um, vertical shift. So just a sine of b b x. So what you do, uh, what you're doing next is that you need to try to find a and b. So first, you can see right here that um, compare to the pa parent graph of sine function. Um, the value be y equal zero, y equal one, y equal zero, y equal negative one, and y equal zero. You can see right here that after the first y equal zero, which is the first x in the step, um, we have to start with the y maximum. But this graph starts with the y minimum. So this tells us right away that um, there is a reflection. So there is reflection across the x-axis. So therefore, we can conclude that um, our a is negative number, so a is negative five. So now we know a. Of course, we know the amplitude right away, which is uh, five. Yes. So the am the amplitude is five, but a is not five in this case. So now after we get A, now we need to find B. So since, since period is 2 pi over B. So we will substitute the, peri the period for 4 pi. So we put it here, four, 4 pi 
equal to pi over b. So now we need to solve for b. To solve for b, we will multiply b from both sides. So 4 pi times b equal 2 pi. And the pi divide itself. So it so it's um the pi is gone. So we have 4b equal 2. Divide both sides for 4. So 2 over 4. Reduce this fraction to give us 1 half. So now we know a is next. Negative five b is one half, so therefore we can conclude that the equation for the graph y equal negative five psi one half times x. So let's write out the summary. In this graph, we learned it. how to write an equation. a given graph. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you in class. Goodbye.